Hello, um, today we'll be talking about uploading files to our server so we can view them from our uh, website. For example, if I were to use my IP address um, shown here, if I were to access this, this would actually show a web page besides the It Works page. Um, in order to do this, you're going to have to have FileZilla or a similar FTP client. You also can use a Windows um, built-in FTP. Um, and let's get started. So, um, we're going to have to know our IP address, which would be the host, the username, which will be, in this case, root, and our password. I'm just going to copy and paste that in there as soon as I get it on here. There we go. And we're going to have to use our port 22. Um, this is because it's SSH um, FTP. It's SFTP, basically. It's a secure FTP. Um, um, two, port 21 will not work yet. Um, and it probably won't work in these series because we want everything to be secure. So let's go ahead and do quick connect. It's going to actually save this um, in our uh, in our recent uh, connections. So let's go ahead and go to um, var www, and now we will see not that. But we'll see our index.html and our info.php. Remember uh, the last tutorial, if we went to our um, website that and we went to info.php, we got some cool information here um, that showed a bunch of information about our current setup with FTP and our server. So now we're going to upload an actual website. Um, in this case, I already have a website already made. That's not it. Uh, let me pull that up here. Okay, and now I'm going to actually delete these two existing files because I do not need those. And if you go to your um, site now, you will get, um, if you refresh this, you'll say, oh, it's not there. And if we do this, it'll probably say, X, or you'll still have it works because there's actually another one hidden in your system. Um, and that's just so you can know it's still working. So now we're going to upload um, a quick website I have. And uh, once this all uploads to our server, as you can see, very fast upload speeds. Um, on my end, it's uploading as fast as it can on server, and it's just taking it right in, so that's very good. Um, so this is going to go through the transfer. Um, so uh, in the meantime, we will be, um, you, yeah, mm -hmm. we could refresh this page. And um, let's just wait, because it will show there's a server error. It's still uploading files, um, so that's normal. I'm actually going to go ahead and pause it right now because there's a lot of images and stuff. All right, now as you can see, our queued files have um, completely up all uploaded. So now, if we go to our website, refresh the page, it will work this time. It's going to be a couple second delay because uh, of the site I made. It's going to have to go ahead and um, send out some information to get information and blah 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 blah. It's working through an API. Um, so, anyways, um, that's about how you upload a website to your. Um, to your server. Um, the next tutorial we'll be talking about is Apache Virtual Hosts, probably. Um, oh, better yet, we'll be actually um, making our domain name point to digital to your digital ocean server. Um, and then we'll talk about Apache Apache Virtual Hosts, what they are, how to use them um, correctly, and that's about it. All right. Well, thank you for um, taking a look at this tutorial. Um, the next one will be, like I said, we'll be doing the um, adding the domain to point to your uh, droplet and then um, go ahead and setting up Apache virtual host. So two more tutorials so far planned out and more to come soon. Thank you for watching.